There was one thing that I forgot to say when I was doing the chi-square test for the 2x2 two two epidemiological data set. So when you have a 2x2 two two table which has these two columns and these two rows, then you need to do a special form of the chi-square test. This is because you only have one degree of freedom, but we won't go into the theoretical reasons as to why that's important. It means that you need to apply what's called the Yates continuity correction to the chi-squared value. So the top line of this table shows you the chi-squared value, 47.985. But the correct value for you to use is the continuity corrected value, which is the one B. So it's only ever commuted, uh, computed for a two by two table. In a minute, I'll do a larger table and you will not see this line calculated. So this leads to a slightly smaller value of the test statistic. Although in this case, it makes almost no difference to the significance and the p-value. So it's still significant. But if you calculate this on a much smaller data set and the continuity corrected version shows a p-value which is above 0.05. Even if the chi-squared value itself is below 0.05, you have to reject. Uh, you can't reject the hypothesis test. You can't use the Pearson's chi-squared. You have to use the continuity corrected version. So you, if it's the continuity corrected is above 0.05, you cannot reject the null hypothesis.